chickens have very long toenails and if they're not filing them down themselves on the hard rock and hard sand then they need a little help trimming their nails and so Rick Springfield lives on the lush grass and so he's not able to file his nails down on his own so I'm gonna give him a little pedicure today um, the trick with trimming chickens nails is to just take the tiniest little tip off but not take too much because the uh, the quick the nerve goes all the way down to the end so if you take too much off it's gonna bleed and it's gonna hurt and I obviously don't want to hurt him so I'm just gonna take the tiniest little tip off the other thing is that roosters have these things called spurs and that's how roosters protect themselves and it's how they fight with each other to protect their territory and these get really long and become difficult for him to walk because he's kind of grinding himself on his legs so I'm going to trim these for him as well so I'm just going to use a regular cat nail trimmer and I'm going to start by taking just a little bit off to make sure that I don't make him bleed and you're being a very good boy Rick Springfield you're cooperating lovely with us And you're such a good boy, aren't you? Are you such a good boy? All right. Let's do the other one. Such a good man you're being right now. All right. Let me look at your nails. Sweetheart, just look at your nails for a minute. What's the matter, my love? So I'm just doing just the little tips. I want to be really careful and not hurt him. Because that nails actually aren't very long. Springfield. What a good boy. Oh, you know what? I have to trim your beak because your beak is overgrown also. And it might feel really weird, but I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to trim the edge of your beak. So, um, the end of his beak is getting a little long also. And the same kind of thing, if he was on harder ground, he would probably shave it down himself, chasing bugs and stuff. Um, but because he's on soft ground and soft grass, it's harder for him to shave it down on his own. So I'm just going to take the little tip off. It's not going to hurt him at all. Um, and it's going to make him more comfortable. So here we go, sweetheart. I'm just going to trim your little beak. Oh, you're such a good boy. I know. It's uncomfortable when I do that, isn't it? Does it feel funny? Let me just do it real quick, okay? That's my boy. I wish I could do just a little bit more. Will you let me do it one more time? Good job. Look how handsome you are. You look much better now. And it's going to be more comfortable for you to eat and pick little seeds out of the ground. You are a very good boy. You want to show Jesse your fancy new nails and beak? Come. Go show Jesse's girl. So handsome. So handsome, such a good boy. <laughs> such a good boy. Such a good boy. And that's it. That's how we love our animals.